Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the color panel to color correct and grade your footage. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. I absolutely love the new color panel. I think it makes color correction and color grading super fun and easy. So let's go to the new color workspace. So click on the new color workspace and find a clip that you can work with. So for example, um, I think this, this cable cam shot, I could maybe improve a little. So I'm going to go ahead and select on it. And you'll notice that now um, it says cable up here. So if you click on a different clip, it's, um, well, let me click on a different clip. See, now I'd be adjusting the jump. So number one, you want to move your current time indicator. And let me go ahead and zoom in here. M make sure that your current time indicator is above the clip so that you can see the adjustments that you're making and then select the clip. And you can tell that it's selected because it's a different color. See, so, yeah, it's blue and now it's white. All right. So there's a bunch of different tabs here. We have color correction. We have creative curves, color wheels, secondary and vignette. Let's just start with this basic correction. First of all, you've got your tone and that's really what I kind of wanted to mess around with on this one. So exposure is just overall brightness. Um, so I might drop that down just a tiny bit. I might increase the contrast. I think it would look a lot better with more contrast. So um, here's, let me just go ahead and bring it back to zero. That's no contrast. And here's a lot more contrast. So I'm going to just crush that contrast. And in fact, I think the blacks might look cool if I made those blacks a little bit darker. So I'm going to go the other way for that. So this at the very top, the FX lets you just turn it off and turn it back on, turn it off and turn it back on. So I think, let me go ahead and mute this. I think that shot looks a lot better now with it. And here's without it. So kind of without it, it's getting a lot of sun from the, the, the sunlight is hitting the, the lens. So, oh my gosh, that looks so much better. I, um, yeah, I might even bring in a little bit more saturation, maybe bring up the color just a little bit more. Wow. So this is without, this is with, so that's basically, um, you know, a little bit of color correction is what we call it. And I wanted to show you another one. I'm going to go to the very end just so that we can play around with this. And, um, let me, I'm going to go to assembly mode just to find it. You, you, when you first imported this, and if you just got done with the merge audio clip, you'll notice that, wait a second, there's a new folder in there. Well, um, I, I realized I wanted to give you this file and I forgot to do it. So hopefully you imported it. If not, I placed it inside of, let's see, I placed it inside the audio merge folder right here and it's called white balance and inside there is just this one single clip here and it was my daughter jewel and she was out there helping me shoot that scene the call to action scene so let's just throw it at the very end so here's here's the call to action scene properly white balanced and here's the uh, call to action scene not properly white balanced so let's jump back into our color workspace and let's fix this First of all, when you're just working with white balance, there's this really cool button right here. It's the white balance selector. Now you can try playing around with the temperature and tint yourself, but check this out. Go ahead and click on it. And if you have something gray or something white in there, like this is a target specifically designed for this, I'm going to go ahead and click on the gray and you'll notice that it instantly changes it. So um, it was blue and now it's much, much warmer. Um, let's go ahead and click on it and I'll click on the white this time. And that just kind of reset it. There we go. So you can see, well, you know, do I like the white better or do I like the gray better? And once you've got it in there, then I think you're probably going to end up having to fine tune it. I think that's probably going to be not exactly the way you want it. Okay. so that's one way. So everybody, you should practice doing that. And in fact, I'm going to cut this clip in half. Let's grab the razor tool and cut it in half. There we go. It's two, two halves. You can tell you fixed this because it's got the purple FX. You've applied an effect to it on this one. I'm going to reset it. 
So here's the one that we did with the white balance selector. And here's the one that I wanted to show you the brand new one. So if you have Premiere Pro 2018 April release, and I think you, if you go to help and go to about Premiere Pro, where is it about? Here's it about Premiere Pro. It'll tell you the version number. Oopsie. And it might be hard to see that. Um, I'm on version 12. V12.0. All right, um, go click that, get it off. There's this brand new feature in the color wheels match. And um, this is really cool. So this is brand spanking new. You probably don't have it, and it's definitely not gonna be on the ACA 2018 exam because it, it came out after we made the exam. So there's this thing called comparison view. I'll go ahead and click on comparison view. And it's actually a new button here um, toggle, where is it? Comparison view. It's a new button on the buttons bar. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, this allows you to take a shot. So this just lets me flip through all the different shots that I've got on my timeline. Here's the one that was properly white balance. Here's the one I'm going to change. So over on the left is your reference shot. And over on the right is the one you're going to you know, update or fix. And then if you hit apply match, it just does its auto magic. Oh my gosh. Let me get out of comparison view so you can see this a little bit better. Um, toggle it off. There's the new version. So here's the, the example shot and here's how clean it got it. Here's how close I got it. And you can see I was, I was pretty far off. So, um, yeah. You, know, you might like mine better, but that new comparison view is really super cool. I really like that. So that's basic color correction with this, this basic color correction. And I added a new little thing in there. Now, let me talk about one last thing. So let's just find another shot and I'm going to collapse basic color correction, collapse color wheel. Let's go to creative. Now, creative is where you can have some real fun with it. Um, and yeah, so let's say I want to give it a look. And I know you can't see all these looks because it's going off the screen, but there's a ton of them. Go ahead and you, you do it. Open it up, click a clip, open up creative, click on look and go down and find something cool. I'm going to try blue steel. And you can see that um, here's without and here's with, without and with. Cool, really edgy. Um, let's try something even more dramatic. How about uh, Gold Western? Oh man, without with. Okay, that that's pretty cool. How about um, Matrix? I like the Matrix. That was a cool movie. Matrix Green. Oh my gosh, that's that's dramatic. So here's without, here's with. So this, when you get creative, when you start really playing around with you know, making things look dramatically different. Um, so maybe I'm, you know, just playing around with really making it dramatically different. This is what we call color grading. Um, so not just color correction, but color grading. And um, this, is, this is where it gets really fun. I know you've seen a lot of movies that have that kind of that look. You see it and you're like, oh man, that all the scenes inside are gold and all the scenes outside are blue. And, and it really, it gives that uh, creative filmmaking flair. At any time, if you're like, ooh, that was ugly, I didn't want that, you can always just hit this reset effect and it's gone. Or if you click on it and you go to effect controls, you can see here's the Lumetri color that I just applied. If I click on it, I can just press the delete key and that is gone. So it's really easy to reset those. So have some fun playing around with color. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.